Now we have my favorite movies, and I did it. This year I watched over 365 movies. They were not all first-time viewings because that would be impossible for me. I am never doing this again. I am never setting a goal to watch this many movies in a year until maybe I retire. When I'm retired, sure, I'll do that. But again, while I'm working and doing YouTube, no, this was a nightmare. <laughs> Number one, Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Normally, I would hold up the DVD, but I don't have it. I have the digital copy. This was purely a nostalgia play for me. I was feeling extremely nostalgic. I was kind of down for a few months, and watching this just took me back. I wasn't even alive and going to malls at the time this movie came out. I don't think I was. Maybe I was. I wasn't going to malls. I wasn't a teenager when this movie came out, but it holds a special place in my heart. And somebody in my Discord server, I think it was Red Scott or Cool Mark D, they pointed out, Spicoli is the hero of the entire movie. He's the hero. And the thing that helped me so much, actually, I have something down here. It may be weird just watching me play around under the table. I bought checkered Vans slip-ons because of Spicoli, because I was trying to capture that carefree attitude and just have something in my life that brought put a smile on my face every day. And those shoes are so goofy. I feel like such a clown wearing them that I can't help but laugh. I can't help but smile a little bit. And when I rewatched it, I ad well, I didn't adopt the Spicoli lifestyle because I don't do drugs. I don't drink. I don't do any of that. But I did try to adopt the Spicoli mindset a little bit. I don't want to go completely slacker I just wanted to adopt a little bit of that carefree attitude, the rolling with the punches attitude, and I did, and it was extremely helpful and enjoyable. I have really started to focus on not letting stuff out of my control have a negative impact on my life. I can assess it, I can look at it, I can understand it, but I am not going to allow something out of my control to ruin my day, to ruin my week. And then through that, allow me to get in a terrible mood and take that out on people around me. That's just a crappy thing to do. So watching that was extremely therapeutic and trying to adopt Spicoli's mindset was <laughs> really helpful. If you haven't seen it, watch it. It is an incredible movie. Number two, I do actually have the DVDs, the Mission Impossible series. I am picking this because over the last few years, I watched the James Bond series. I watched the, what is the one with the other guy? Jason Bourne, is that it? I watched the Bourne trilogy. I think buck for buck, minute for minute, the Mission Impossible series is the best spy action series. And I think it's due to the fact that it has Tom Cruise. Because he seems extremely selective outside of Mission Impossible 2 with who he works with and what kind of projects he has. He seems to really care about it, and it shows. They are incredibly fun action movies if you're into that kind of thing. I don't have anything else to say. They are just fun. Number three, it was hard to pick. I watched 365 plus movies this year. Not a lot of them stood out to me. But going back through my list, because I log everything that I watched to make sure I actually did watch it. Psycho 2. Psycho 2. Can you believe it? A sequel was one of my favorite movies of the year. This was a shocker. Because sequels are garbage. Sequels suck. Psycho 2, in my opinion, is right up there with Terminator 2. Right up there with Aliens in terms of sequels being great. I don't know how Anthony Perkins does it, because he is a psychopath, he is a murderer. But he makes you actually care for him and root for him. You want him to succeed. And then you feel bad for him when he actually starts killing people. It's amazing. It is such a well-done sequel. If you haven't seen it, I do actually recommend it. 
Those are my favorite movies. Card three. Done. I didn't throw the last one, so you get two cards. Card two. Card three. Done.